Alright guys, we're coming into Lake Claiborne State Park. Alright guys, Remy says it's hot outside and he's staying in the air conditioner, which is nice and cool inside the pop-up. We just got everything set up, been kind of hanging around outside. It is hot and humid. Uh, this bunk here we don't really use other than for storage. Remington will hop up there sometimes and sleep in the back. Uh, this is uh, the spot in this camper where they have for the porta potty to go. And as you can see, there's a curtain here that goes around the rail to where you can get some privacy. And when we don't want to go outside to the outside tent, it's right there. And uh, this is a very nice porta potty. Very nice. But anyway, you know, this is our kind of typical setup we sit at the table here and play our games and then this is the bed we actually sleep on a little nightstand and uh, this is the ice maker I actually picked up for us if you're camping with electricity that right there is worth every penny you spend on it ice 24 hours anytime you need it works great can't believe we've been without ice maker all these years camping man that thing is just excellent and uh, of course when I make my coffee I just use a tea kettle I hit the coffee button heat the water up and then I do a pour over and we got our TV we cock it around and we lay in bed and watch it if we want to, sink, refrigerator, propane heater, thermostat, thing where we store extra food, have these nets above where you can put stuff. I have, when it's hot like this, I put this Retroflex in the windows. So I've got it in all the windows. I don't know that I put it in that one yet. I haven't put it in that one because we look out that one. It is in this one. You can see it back there. That stuff, man, it helps keep your camper cold. I can. It's 90 something degrees out there, and it's it feels nice in here. But when Ashley comes in, she'll probably say it's too cold. Uh, but yeah, this is our setup, and we are we're at. Lake Claiborne State Park. Now I'm fixing to show you the biggest problem with this park. So if you come to this state park, the state park's nice and they're upgrading some stuff now. Have a really nice swim beach and all that kind of stuff. And they're upgrading some stuff. But the, be prepared for unlevel spots. Got us a fan down there. You can see how high my tongue is up on blocks they seem pretty solid so I don't think they're going to uh, move any of course I've got my jacks down I've got my ball leveler I love that thing especially when you're set up like this and your tongue's up that high it's not going that wheel's not moving with that ball leveler there it ain't going nowhere and of course I got blocks on the other side but yeah, this side is, uh, I had to lift it sideways on this side. And then, like I said, I had to jack it up on the front. And we drove through the park a little while ago, and there's campers that's way worse than this even, trying to get level. So be prepared if you come here. Make sure you have plenty of blocks. The old Grand Cherokee, 
Toad Awesome coming up here. Uh, it just has more, it just seems to have so much more power than the Trailhawk, the Cherokee Trailhawk. Uh, although it towed pretty good, uh, I just, I feel more confident. Everything just feels easier pulling with the Grand Cherokee, which 2,000 more pounds on the rating plus more tongue weight. So it should. Uh, we got the fire ring over there. I might have a little fire tonight. I cleaned all that up just in this spot. Make it a little easier to walk. Your picnic table, your lantern pole. Hung a uh, hammock up over here. Ashley's done found it. Say hi. Hello. She's hanging out in the hammock. And it's hot, ain't it? It is, but there's a poke stop right across the street. <laughs> She's playing Pokemon. And then I brought our Kasori oven. I've got it preheating and I'm fixing to put in some, let's see what we got here. Chicken piccata with capers that we picked up at Sam's. Pre-made meal already in the aluminum dish. We slide it in there and we're gonna have to cook it for 40 minutes and we're gonna have a good meal. Uh, when it's hot like this, I'm not all about firing up the hot grill, maybe some while we're here, uh, but I'd rather just toss something in there. And if you go to Sam's, you can get some pre-made awesome meals. And the price ain't too bad either. This was 10 bucks. And we'll probably eat off of it, both of us, twice. So yeah, it's just simple. It's easy to clean up and uh, Heck, if you want to, you just eat out of that, not even dirty anything but forks. <laughs> but a uh, little fan, that thing is nice to have blowing on you when it's this hot. I did set up our shower tent. Let's walk around here. Oh, and happy Memorial Day, y'all. Thanks to everybody that served. A little bit of a mess back here. I haven't finished going through my tub there some of that stuff needs to be rolled up and put back in the tub and I'll shove it underneath the camper we have our wastewater tank here and the camper normally this goes down in the, the wastewater tank but we're so high here that it's not long enough so I may have to do some little adjustments put me a little hose on the end of it and I do have one in the tote that I can cut off and, and just screw on there that way it'll be down in there. But it, it goes in there, no problem. Uh, let's see. This was the King Camp. Marisu uh, 2. One hand unzip. Now I have the shower nozzle and hose hooked up to the camper. And then it runs through the door. And then it comes in here, and we picked up this. Okay, we got this at Aldi's, and I think I'm going to go ahead and get another one uh, while they have them, maybe in a different color. That thing works pretty good. And then Aldi's had this pop-out sink. It folds flat, and it has a, a stopper in there. But you can do some dishes, or you could use it to wash off and pull the stopper and drain the water and so forth and so on have your pockets here for your shower supplies and it's just good it's so hot just to come in here and hose down just to cool down and uh, your dry side you can bring the porta potty that we have inside right now out here and during the day that's normally what i do is i bring it out here uh, but it's so freaking hot this weekend you know up in the 90s and then we have pockets for more storage here. There's a, a line hang towels to dry off with up there. A hook over in the corner. You got a window here. Uh, you have a window on this side, on this one. And I didn't put the rain fly on, but it does come with the rain fly. Another hook for your solar shower right there. But this is really nice. And uh, that's just a tote extra stuff we have so I'm just keeping it out of sight in here
But yeah, uh, this thing's really nice. Nice big zipper pulls. Zips right up. Got the uh, ice co plugged in. It's still in the Jeep here. Big old 60 liter, 60 VL, dual zone. Been using this for several years now. And I, I put everything in here and then when I like to camp, the stuff that we use all the time in the camper, I pull it out of this and take it in there and put it in that fridge. And that empties this up some. And as the weekend goes, I can empty one side out if I'm not using it for a freezer and and uh, just turn it off and just use one side if that's what I want to do. But yeah, it's it works really good. And we've got the uh, set power, the smaller fridge, and I really love it because it don't take up near the space this does. But we're going to be here, uh, this is Friday, so we'll be here Saturday, Sunday, and then half a day Monday, we'll pack up and leave Monday. So we want to be sure we have plenty of room to take everything we needed and back to the Sam's prepared meal instead of having to have this has noodles and lemon and chicken and I forgot what else in it instead of having all that it's all combined in that one pack so good to go uh, another thing you need those thermocells I've got one over there on the table I'll probably move that in a little bit. And then I've got another one over there in my little wood pile. And it's working. Yes, they work. When we first got here and he had to set them up, there were those little gnats buzzing around my face continuously. And then he turned that on and it was like, oh, gotta go. I'm out of here. Or no more bugs. Bugs. We have also seen deer since we've been here. Now we're in site 42 and it's at the end of the loop. And I chose this one because there's nobody on this side of us. So basically that's our front yard. But there is a hiking trail that comes down through here and goes over in, you see the white lines, the crosswalk over there maybe? But it goes across and there's a bridge down there and there's also i think two frisbee golf courses here so i mean there's a lot to do here and it's a, a pretty park and once they get done redoing some stuff that they're doing it's going to be really nice the only issue is you just got to deal with these unlevel campsites and i'm not the only one that's complained about it but we're better off than a lot because with this pop-up you know, the jacks are so long, uh, it's, you know, made for off-road roughness, and we can set up in a very unlevel site and get level. So, you know, for us, it's not that big a deal, as long as we have plenty of, of blocks, and I used every block that I had in the, the box. So, hopefully, it doesn't go nowhere while we're sleeping tonight. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I'm going to see if this oven's preheated. And if it is, I'm going to throw our food in there. It is. So I'm going to throw our food in there and we are going to get it cooking. Sorry guys, no fancy cooking show. This is about all you're going to get. And it's going. And I have used this oven for everything. Cinnamon rolls, cookies, casseroles, stuffed bell peppers, steak, hamburgers, hot dogs, beef jerky. I dehydrated beef jerky in it the other day and it worked great. So, uh, man, we didn't bring that jerky with us. You didn't? No. I meant to bring the jerky with us and it's still at home in the fridge. Oh, well, we got plenty to eat. So guys, that's going to be it for today. Uh, you know, it's evening time. They're expecting some rain to move in. And uh, hopefully it doesn't get bad. When we made our plans and we was watching the weather, it wasn't, the rain was supposed to be out of here. But I just looked and it showed more rain possible. So 
we'll see what what happens and something else I do let's go back in is I take my walkie-talkies my middling walkie-talkies with this and you can see that one's on and it's on the weather band so if any kind of alert comes up this will start beeping I hit the button and then it'll tell me what the alerts about so these are good to have with you at all times that way you can keep up with the weather now we do have internet here they have internet uh, Ashley said it's good enough she played a game on it but it's not just great uh, and I have 4G on my uh, Samsung uh, through AT&T so I'm gonna get off here and enjoy the evening and we'll holler at you tomorrow alright I got excited and we already dipped our plates out and I, I'm sure I'll be dipping some more out here in a little bit but this is just a really good simple meal from Sam's perfect for camping as long as you have you know a way to cook it and our little corsori air oven did great What you eating, Tim? Uh, s'mores made with the jumbo, jumbo marshmallows. So one marshmallow covers the whole graham cracker, both ends, and it's very messy. But if you're gonna do the s'mores, you've got to use the giant marshmallows. And only the finest Belgium chocolate. Yeah, and these from Aldi's. The I can't pronounce that. Ch Chachu. I don't know. Milk it's, chocolate. It's Belgium chocolate. Real hazelnut. Real hazelnut spread. To make s'mores. In hundred degree weather. That's right. Too hot to have so we're sitting here Saturday night we've already had our campfire and roasted s'mores so now we are playing the game summer camp if y'all haven't got summer camp I recommend you get it it is a great camping game One of my favorites for camping. Air fry. 400 degrees. I believe it was 20 minutes. Preheat. Hey, 
two pieces living together. Two pieces. Let's just kind of smash the center in a little bit. Couple pieces of bacon. That would be preheated in a minute. We'll slide them in there and cook them for 20 minutes. And we're going to put some salt and pepper on the top. Have to wash my hands.
figure it out for. Can't come over here, you're tangled. Come on. There you go. There you go. So we've got the Kasori air oven going again and I'm using air fry and I actually come up with this recipe online where we kind of modified it to our the stuff we had here but we've got two pieces of raisin cinnamon raisin bread and I stacked two together I didn't think one was thick enough and then we put a divot in the center and uh, I wrapped bacon around them and then we dropped the egg in the middle and we're going to see how they turn out. Okay, you can see in there the eggs are done. The bacon's starting to get crisp. I, I like it a little bit crispier, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to pull it out here in a little bit. I'm going to give it a little bit longer. Okay guys, I'm going to take them out now. See we got some crispiness on the bacon. And I didn't want to burn anything, so. Let's see if I can grab these. I'm going to set them up here. Put some parchment paper in there to uh, make cleanup easier. Let me dish these on the plate real quick. All right, I'm gonna have Ashley slice into one of these and see what what it looks like. It says two pieces of raisin toast. The bottom one is a little crisp, mm, chewy. Let's see if we can get the side view. The egg yolk is moist, but that's what it looks like, guys. Now we're going to take a taste of it and see what we think. So grab you a bite. What you think? Hot. Hot? It's good. Oh, it's good. All right, we're gonna sit down and feast. Hey Tim, I'm recording. Hey guys, this is gonna be my first test of the new concoction. Like I said, two pieces of cinnamon raisin toast, an egg in the middle, where we smashed a little divot to hold the egg, and then two pieces of bacon wrapped around the outside. really good and I actually just had an idea excuse me top my mouth full ooh big lamb just fell that was over there not over here but anyway put a little bit of jelly in before you put the egg in and cook it that way add a little sweetness but this is good I'm gonna enjoy it Okay guys, I've been waiting to see a deer come down. There's a trail right here that people hike. And I've been waiting to see a deer in these woods since we've been here. And Ashley, there it is back there. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's right it. in there. Let's see if I can scan a little bit closer. Where'd she go? She's, see that big pine out there? Yeah, right, right behind. behind so you can't see her, but she's right. You can still see her tail flicking every once in a while. Back there, my finger just is getting in the way. Now she's on the other side of it. Well, you've seen several deer and there's a little fawn 
Run around with its mama too. So I can see it, but it's further up. I'll try to get it in the center of the camera. She moved further than I thought she did, but she's on the road, it looks like. Now where'd she go? Boy, they they blend in so good, you just she may have crossed the road. I don't see her no more. I think she crossed the road. So she's in them other woods and that goes downhill. It's downhill. No wait. Yeah, that's something else. No, that's her. She's you can see her right in the center of the screen. Every now and then her head will move up and down. See? She's eating something right there. Wish she'd move out and open a little more. There she is. She's a big old girl. Well, she's gonna be out of sight now. Hi right, guys, we are at the spillway. Let me get this zoomed out. Let's walk up here to this sign. Of this is the spillway on Lake Claiborne. We're staying at the state park. You can see the spillway down there. See if I can zoom in and save a little bit of walking. All kinds of dragonflies. No like real easy way to get to it but I do see a walking trail down there I saw a 
place you pull off the main road where you could put a kayak or small boat off in there. I was looking at Onyx off road and I saw that they had the dam on there and I thought well we need to go see what that looks like. So here we are. little better view of it from here wind blowing pretty good I'm taking it looks like people are going down right here Gonna be a heck of a climb. <laughs> All right, once you're down here, it's not too bad. A little bit of access there, do some fishing. And you're not gonna see much up there. Now you've seen Lake Claiborne Spillway and Dam. Now we got to go back up there. <laughs> so let's go. Very steep. I think we just keep going on straight up. Like tippy toeing all the way up this hill. Good calf workout. Well, guys, you've seen it. Okay, so I had to walk on up here and get to the top of this dam. And let Remy have a run. You see him coming through the weeds. That's our boy. Another calf exercise going up here. No issues for the boy. Here we go. That's pretty cool. All the lake water. Remy, come here. All the lake water running down that tube right there. And then of course it comes out down there. We 
just drove through some of these neighborhoods over to the right. Lakeside neighborhoods. That right there is really cool. Come here, Remy. We're not going that way. Going down. A lot of these are going down, it is going up. All right. Look at all the dragonflies. And we're back, or, and we're going back to camp. See y'all in a minute. Claiborne State Park is a recreation site located in Claiborne Parish, northwestern Louisiana, USA. It was opened in 1974 and is 643 acres in size. The park provides access to scenic Lake Claiborne, a 6,400-acre man-made water body formed by damming by UDR Bourne. Guests may stay at 10 cabins and 89 campsites, 67 improved, 20 premium, and 2 unimproved on the park grounds. Boats and canoes are available to rent. There is a large swimming beach, boat launch, nature center, and numerous interpretive programs. The entrance to Lake Claiborne State Park is located 7 miles southeast of Homer on Louisiana Highway 146. Did you know Lake Claiborne State Park offers the number one and number two ranked disc golf courses in the state? 
Both courses offer two sets of tee pads. The blue tees are for the skilled players and the red tees for the newer players or first times at the park. Families are encouraged to check out DISC at the fee station on their next visit. Both courses start and end at the entrance. Scorecards and maps are available to the fee station or in or below the disc golf section of this website. The woods of Lake Claiborne are also home to a wild variety of wildlife. Lovely nature trails and a scenic overlook will allow you to appreciate the beauty of the area at your own pace. Or you may be interested in a variety of nature tours offered on a regular basis. One of the most popular activities for visitors of all ages is swimming at the park's sandy beach. The beach is situated on an inlet of the lake and is protected from boats and water skiers. So work up an appetite for that fresh fish supper by taking a brisk swim in Lake Claiborne's famous clear water. Ecologists and sportsmen alike hail the lake's excellent water quality and you will too once you've made the trip to Lake Claiborne. Once on site, you will see the area come to life as the park naturalist will be available to present nature-based programs and give guided hikes. Take your pick of swimming, fishing, birding, boating of all kinds, water skiing, camping, hiking, or just plain relaxing and enjoying the unsurpassed natural beauty. It's all there at Lake Claiborne State Park. For fishermen, the freshwater lake was lavishly stocked with largemouth bass, bluegill sunfish, channel catfish, black crappie, striped bass, chain pickerel, brim, and white perch. The lake itself, at full reservoir level, has a surface area of 6,400 The historic timeline of Lake Claiborne establishment, 1957 the project was conceived, in 1959 the study completed, 1963 the project funded and construction started, 1965 construction was completed, 1966 clearing completed and gates closed in the fall, in 1968 May 17th water ran over the spillway. Major improvements in 1982, outfall channel, critical area treatment flooding. 1991, maximum flooding to date was 6.5 feet above full stage. 1997, it twice reached levels 4 foot above full stage. In 2009, it reached 3.5 feet above full stage twice in a short period of time in November.
Well, good morning, people. Today's pack-up day, and I've already got to start tearing things down, getting everything ready to go where it's supposed to go. And this is site number 42, in case I didn't say earlier. And you can tell how unlevel the sites are. So to be prepared for that. I think I've already mentioned that. But after driving around the campground, and we do have a video of us driving around the campground, if you're not worried about a water view, I like this side because although you have people all on this side of you, there's a camper. You see the front of the camper back there. So you got one right there. But on this side of you, there's nobody other than the roads. So Remington played fetch in this area here. And there is a walking trail that goes through here. And you can see there's a car coming up right now. But I like the fact that this one has such a big area to walk Remington and nobody on this side of you so pretty good time at Lake Claiborne in Louisiana this is the first time we have stayed at this park we have drove through before but this is the first time we've stayed here everything went well everything worked like it should and even though we was under a heat advisory, the big old, I can't even give a picture of it because it's too high up. But the big old AC unit up there never went to high. It stayed on low and with the retroflex or reflectix that I put in the windows, we had no issues staying cool in the heat advisory so i think it said heat heat index was like 105. The actual temperature was up in the 90s so yeah it did great but yeah uh now if you're into disc frisbee i don't know if you can see it there's a there's one right down there this park is supposed to have some two of the best frisbee golf courses around so if you like to play disc frisbee, or disc golf, uh, this is one to come to just for that. Because as you can see, you're going to have some challenges. This is not an easy course. From the, the shots I've seen, it's some. It, the more skill you have, the better you're going to do on this course. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this adventure. I didn't do a whole lot of filming, but I think I covered everything that needed to be covered if you're thinking about coming to this state park. So we will sign out and check with y'all on the next adventure. Uh, you may say, why are you getting such an early start? Because we don't have to be home or out of here till 1. Checkout time's 1. But before we came, I put a our Intex... I believe it's 18 by 52 inch pull up and I've actually got a video on our channel where I built pull steps just a short showing the after product after I built it but it makes it easier getting in and out of the pool but before we left I put a salt system on our pool so I'm looking forward to jumping off in that pool this afternoon while it's so hot and enjoying the, the cool water and that salt system makes it so much easier to maintain the water so yeah we get home it's going to be pull bound and i plan on sharing my salt system how i set it up and what you got to do to convert it over which is really easy but i've done it before and it just made keeping the chemical and the ph and all that uh where it's supposed to be a lot easier. So we'll see y'all later. Hope y'all had a happy Memorial weekend.